The Chartered Chemist designation is awarded to members of the Royal Society of Chemistry who are currently working within the chemical sciences. It is a recognised professional qualification that inspires confidence and trust in science and scientists. I started working here with an HNC, so I went on to do my degree on day release a few years back. The DWI brought in a new recommendation. They wanted to have people with chartered status, so we brought in some new guidelines. We've got people working towards becoming members of professional bodies and then getting their chartered status. For early career chemists, there is a two-year professional development programme. This structured programme develops an environment of continuing professional development and allows applicants to easily identify competence gaps. Those with more experience can apply immediately. Even if you don't have a formal master's degree, you can still apply if you are subsequently working at master's level. Our team will guide you through the process. I think it depends on the organisation and the circumstances of the individual concerned, but thinking about signing up for the Chartered Chemistry programme in your early stages of your career might open up some different avenues for you to explore and help you expand your skills in ways that maybe you hadn't thought of originally. So I definitely encourage people to think about looking at CCHEM uh, as early as makes sense in their career. Working towards the CCHEM was quite a lot of hard work because obviously you have to fit it around your normal day-to-day -day job. But at the same time, it's, it was really exciting because I got to do lots of things that I probably wouldn't normally have got to do, such as going to the conferences and meeting people, but also like building relationships with um, my managers and more the members of my team, because there's also the personal development side. I've got a lot more confidence now. Um, I feel I can be able to discuss things on a, a more level basis with my managers and senior scientists. Becoming a chartered chemist not only recognises your in-depth scientific knowledge and competence in areas of your job such as mentoring others, problem solving and communication skills, but also demonstrates personal and professional integrity and a commitment to developing your career. Choosing a mentor was quite difficult because most of the RSC members who work here don't work with me on my day-to-day -day job, which is a technical scientist. So I had to pick my technical specialist instead. And Rob's actually the obvious choice to pick, really, because he knew what I would need to do to develop into a similar role to his in the future. I did have concerns at first because he wasn't an RSC member that that wouldn't be appropriate, but I did uh, contact um, someone from the department. They said it was far more important that he knew me and was familiar with my work, so that worked out a lot better. As an employer, when your workforce includes those with chartered status, it demonstrates that your organisation operates to the highest standards. It shows commitment to employee development and retention of talent. I recruit graduate chemists after either a first degree or a PhD and I would always encourage them to join the RSE and to pursue the Chartered Chemist qualification. I think it's a very important certification of somebody's status as a professional chemist. I wanted to sign up for Chartered Chemist because I, I, I thought it would be useful to have some sort of independent uh, validation, if you like, of my chemical sciences in the widest sense. I've learned lots of stuff and have lots of experience and skills and strengths from my time within BP but for me this provided a, a sort of independent arbiter if you like of, of some of that experience and, and sort of broadened it a little bit beyond some of the things I do within the, the standard day-to-day -day job. Um, I also think that at some point um, in conversations with more senior academic uh, people or people with senior, more senior qualifications then the chartered chemistry status carries a bit of weight and, and helps in those conversations. When I decided to become a patent attorney the Chartered Chemist qualification was very attractive for me. Being a patent attorney, I'm part a scientist and part a lawyer, and the patent attorney qualification is called Chartered Patent Attorney, and so having the Chartered Chemist status go beside that was very important to me, because it shows to people who may be unfamiliar with what I do that on the one hand I'm a kind of scientist, and on the other hand I'm kind of a lawyer. If you think that becoming chartered could help you progress in your field, raise your profile or give you the recognition that you deserve, we are committed to helping you achieve your goal. Our staff has extensive knowledge of supporting applicants from a number of employment fields within the chemical sciences. The CCHEM team were really helpful in preparing my final report because one of the most challenging things is actually getting it down to those 30 pages. 
Even if there's no one locally to offer you advice or get you started, we are always on hand. Our accreditations team will take you through the process from deciding which route you should take and getting you started with your application right through to your final report.